is Sandy. And today, we got a new project car. Michael, what is it? This is a 1947 Plymouth Special Deluxe. But that's too many words. We narrowed it down to Angela. So, we have already ripped out all the interior and carpet that was on the floor. We have taken out the back part that connects to the trunk. And we've also ripped out the floor that is where the engine is. I can explain why the fender is off on the right side. Why it is is because it got wrecked and they did a horrible job repairing it and there's all Bonzo on it. So we're trying to get it off. As I was opening the door, I noticed that I didn't know what this was. Michael, what is it? It's a hand crank and this rolls the window up and down, but I'm so used to power windows that at first I didn't even know how to use this. So you crank it. To pull it down and it's a lot of labor and then you pull it back up it's a good exercise and boom you have your little sliding window so this door has a manual lock but both of the front and passenger doors don't have a lock that is really confused and we didn't know why so we're gonna try to figure that out Andy here is going to show you how to pop the hood. The popping hood button is right beside the handbrake and you pull in to open it. And then you go to the hood, you raise it up, and there's a little release button. I'll just raise it. Okay, raise. So as you see here, this hood cannot just stand up, so we have to use a stick. No, you just have to lower it down. Okay. Andy here is going to explain the engine. First of all, you might think this is for the engine. This is the horn mechanism, and right now it's not working. So in another video, we're going to show how to repair it and make it work again. Now that we move into the engine, you have your radiator, and then you have your main engine. This has six cylinders in it. Right here is our air filter. And it's not usually where you would see an air filter in an old car. It'd usually be in the middle, but here it's on the side. We also have a 6-volt battery because this car only pulls 6 volts instead of your normal 12 volts. Let's move on to the next thing now. Right here is the front fender. As you can see, there is a bunch of rust on it. And the reason why is because metal rusted up underneath the chrome. Chrome is a coating that goes on regular metal. And as you can see... It doesn't stick very well. We need to figure out how to fix it. Now, this is the parents' wall. You have to have turn signals on your vehicle and seat belts. This vehicle has neither. So, in another video, we're going to show us installing turn signals in here and seat belts. Right here is the trunk, and as you can see, there's nothing that you actually stick your hand underneath to open it. Like, so you have to turn this handle counterclockwise. And then you have to push up. And luckily this has springs on it, so it won't fall immediately. Here is where the spare tire would go. Now as you can see, we have some rotting in the metal right there that we're going to have to patch up in another video. Join us on our journey. And please, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, don't forget to comment what you'd like to see next. See ya! Queen and Andy saves the day!